we get to a lightweight bout between Rafael Dos Anjos oh, and Aljamain Sterling. It's the worst Sterling. card of the year. You know, one of those, those, those bad cards. Nobody oh, knows. boy. One of those. <laughs> a two-time All-American oh, wrestler for God. the State University of New York at Cortland. Here is the funk master, Aljamain Sterling. Yeah, yeah, Initially, he was inspired you, you, you had a hand by in. his former teammate and colleague, John Jones. Asked for an opportunity to train right, no with Johnny Bones, was granted that opportunity. You, you signed and the rest, it all. They as sent they that say, is history. A couple Al Joe like, yeah, has vaulted all. into UFC Bantamweight title contention. You sent it back. Yeah. That's the funny thing. You sent it back a couple times. Like, yeah, and his no ability thing. to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Like, you know what? No, I want to I wanna actually, you know, try to get this card going. And I guess after me shoving it in your face for a long time, you just was like, yeah, all right, sign off, whatever. And didn't notice what was going on. <laughs> nah, that's exactly that was your fucking trick. That was not my trick. I was hoping that you would revise and, and review every last one of these fights on these cards on this card. Five years, the five years, the elf. Fifty-five and thirty-five, ridiculous. Sterling will have a one-inch reach advantage. Kind of ain't that bad. This nigga just kicked her. I mean, all that weight we gave up. Uh, you gave up this. Uh, All right, here we go. Sterling went 87 and 27 as a collegiate wrestler, six and one as an MMA amateur, won belts at 35 and 45. Head kick! Oh, oh straight right. How's your main? What was, he, what was he trying to prove here, baby? What was he trying to prove here, baby? Nice punch there by RDX. Powerful right hand. Two shots there. I get it. You as a champion, you know what I'm saying? I understand These all that. Are We're not proving anything. We're not proving anything here. Beautiful right leg kick there. USA. Yeah. Oh, nice punch there by Stone. Using his Using his jab effectively, he has an unutilized weapon by a lot of fighters, Sterling. not this guy. Both guys now, be dangerous in the opening seconds. This fight doesn't make a lot of sense for Al Jamain. Well, he continues to find his time of year as soon as the I mean, he's moving up several weight classes to try to fight RDA. He doesn't have the strength, he doesn't have the power. His jaw is super flimsy. I really gave him a super short leash in this fight. Told him if you go out there and you start to get rocked like once or twice. I'm not playing that game with you. I know you want to, you know, karate around. You want to do stuff like that, but I advise you to take it down and try to choke him out or take him down and try to beat him up. We don't have anything to prove. All we need to do is win this fight. So that was basically my goal. Let him go with the stand up for as long as he can. Hopefully protect his chin for as long as I can. And if he starts to get, uh, you know, beat up, see, as I'm using the, the one-arm technique to try to create some space so that way I don't get cornered by RDA. But let him go for as long as he can. Let him try to box it out with him. And if he gets into any little bit of danger, changing the game plan up immediately. Taking him down and trying to choke him out or try to beat him on the ground. We have nothing to lose. We have nothing to gain. It does not matter what people say. Try to win the fight as we get rocked. This could be it right here. This fight is dangerously close to being I mean, what I said. What did we say? What, did, what was the game plan with, with, uh, with Sierra Longo? What did we say? Misses be a, a huge fucking hero. To the head. Do not be a hero here, man. fainting with the punch. Nice jab by Sterling. He lands a couple good shots here. Okay, I'll let you do your thing for a little bit. And that's it. Not go one. Trying to remind myself of the Vicious game plan so we don't get fucking off of our job right now. You gotta remember, sometimes you just gotta talk to yourself and, and remind yourself, like, all right. We had a game plan, but once shit starts to get, you know, a little bit crazy, we start to lose the game plan. We're going to have to switch it up. Super short leash on this fight. Look at that mad exotic kick. 
front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Sterling. Rafael yeah, Dos Anjos with a nasty leg kick. And that karate and oh, take nice Almost forgot that Al Jermaine had a whole bunch of exotic kicks. So now that reminded me that we can basically be a little bit more exotic when it comes to uh, outside fighting. We don't have to exactly, you know, go, you know, boxing when it comes to fighting RDA. Our opponent is not the is not the type of dude that um you know knows how to do a whole bunch of uh, specialty moves, so we could take advantage. Big kick. <sighs> Almost sent you to hell just now. I just Jelly's saw your digital down. light flash before your eyes. You try to use the teep and the side kick to try to create some space because. He feels a little so bit really confident while RDA is on some the pressure. Body shots here. These are gonna take their toll yeah. as this fight I'm goes on. Absolutely. That bitch up. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Need the body there by Sterling. Woo! We knew what we knew what he was about. We knew what he was about going into Final it. Final seconds here. Me. Round one. We knew what he was about. We've seen it before. Oh, nice combination of kicks there. almost got Sterling. overwhelmed, and then you forgot that you were just doing all of our main teachers. Uh, uh, Second round, straight ahead. Let's take a look here. Beautiful strike here. Lands on the target. He's like the wonder boy of our organization. And here's another clean shot that lands. Good kick. There's a powerful kick to the body. He believes in himself way more than we believe in him. That's exactly why. Big round. That's exactly why he took this fight. More of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Be smart. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Ready? <laughs> he told Al Jermaine, be smart but aggressive. RDA was basically pushing him. You know, making him back up. We want him to be the aggressor. We want him to be first to the punch, first to the kick. But we gotta create space. We can't do it from the with a back kick. Oh! So after being laid down horizontally, game plan is automatically going into change mode. We're not gonna do any more. Kickboxing, we're not going to do any more karate. We're not going to do any more Muay Thai. And wrestling the Jiu Jitsu at mode activated. So we're going to play with him a little bit. That was the wrong time to go for that. He was probably expecting it. So we're going to try to box with him for a little bit. I'm trying to keep our backs in the, in the center of the octagon. Trying to not move back anymore. Pick our shots and then go for the takedown as we go right here. <clears throat> so, now that we're here, we want to try to control him. We want to try to fucking deny all his transitions, get to a favorable position, and then land down some fucking rain. Missed a couple of transitions there, but inside his guard, we should be good, and half guard, we should be good. As we deny that one, immediately get the transition in the full mount and pass it right up and land the blows. Thought I was going to be able to finish it there, but he bucks me off. Block a couple of more transitions. Now he's in full guard. Now our job right now is to try to drain all of his stamina. RDA, he's a really good guy. But if you keep fucking, you know, uh, spamming uh, the transitions, you're going to get your stamina drain as I keep mushing him. Sassy gets pissed right here. A cut has opened up on his eyebrow. Mush. Nice shot to the head. Oh come on, man! Get the fuck out of that shit. Mush. Get your ass down. Fucking reach for shit, nigga. Mush. The fucking ass down. And he changes the direction. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Now, 
I'm almost in trouble there. Almost lost the position because he decided that instead of uh, hitting the same transition over and over and seeing that I'm, I'm blocking that shit, he tries to hit a different transition and that clutches you off guard. And now he's back to his feet. But we did a considerable hit to the stamina, which, which is basically what we wanted to do. Now if he tries to keep that pace on the feet, all he's, now, now if he tries to keep that pace on the feet, it's only going to go downhill from here. He's not going to really have a lot of success trying to keep that, trying to keep that pace. There was a nice exchange. Just missed with a huge kick. Missed the shot there. Yeah, wanted to fucking hit him on his way around. Careful, yeah, man. Not trying to get him knocked out doing some silly spin shit. Foreshadowing. Nice. While you're playing with fire there, trying to work the combinations now. Because now I feel like I can get the takedowns and drain the stamina at will. So we just want to keep messing around and see what happens. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. I'm going to try a little striking match when I'm here. If we get rocked again, I'm definitely going to try to take this to the ground. No, no, like I said, we have nothing to prove here. And do a little bit more spinny shit, try to get ourselves knocked out. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Can't really get that timing right. Like, Sterling gets caught with that I want to be just out of out of reach for oh, those um roundhouses to the flush. head, nice so that way I can you know land something on my own and knock them out. But I can't really get inside the zone. Oh, no As we use the question mark kick to demolish uh, RDA. So as we see, he's holding his hands low. He's starting to get tired. We play around and we get robbed. But we return the favor. Don't, 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 don't be a superhero. Don't be a fucking superhero. Don't be a superhero. Don't be a superhero. Don't be a superhero. We did what we came to do. You surprised me. You showed me a lot of things. You showed me a lot of fucking things. I forgot you got knocked down in that round. Oh my god, that nigga floored your shit. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> nigga took you off of your feet. Sent you horizontal. I don't even remember that. Lord. I looked up at the, I looked up at the jumbotron. I said, what? Oh, nigga get hit. They don't remember Oh, Lord. <laughs> I looked at the jumbotron. I said, when that happen, baby? Lord, I really don't like even know. Round, so, now we feel confident in our hands. We did our, our job with the wrestling as we get the knockdown. We drive on top. And we feel so confident that we just elect to get him up. That's how confident we feel with the feet right now. He has no stamina to, to have any pop to knock me out, so we feel that like we can almost hit him with whatever. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down. He was at 170. I'm not sure how much more he's going to take. He's hurt here. Walk into a roundhouse kick and get fucking blown up. But also, like I said, I always want to return the favor as we do there and we get our drop. So, right now, it's all going downhill for RDA. It's only a matter of time before we actually get him where we want him, corner him, hit him with some combos, and take this fight home. Basically, we wasn't going to be able to, to do this in the early rounds because he was so strong as we drop him again. But... Later on, as we drain the stamina and he tries to, you know, spam transitions. He's ready to move up to 55 and challenge anybody at 55. I, I say, go right ahead, baby. After a performance like this, you you more than fucking, more than welcome. But you know your brother, uh... Shit, quick, man. Oh, I'm bad. I can't even live. You know your boy, um... Abel Trujillo got the belt at that division, so unless he loses, you know what I'm saying, you gotta, you're gonna have to, you know what I'm saying, 
the stretch. Wait your turn in line. In the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Unless he's just going to vacate it and let you rock it for a little bit. Dos Anjos trying to faint his he's way in. He's a good teammate. I think, I think that'll be that'll Straight be Straight right, he misses. Head kick there, blocked by Sterling. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. No juice left. Hi, nigga, you you was out of shape on this one. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga oh, came with him. I don't know where he, he was in Brazil with all types of bad, beautiful nice bitches. I don't know Sanchez. what he was doing. Like a fat and shit. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes <laughs> tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up Damn. being an awfully long night. He just whips that punch in. Damn, Dos Anjos from 170. You were 70 before the fight, and you knew you were fighting a, a, a 35 Yeah. Clean jab. Nigga had a bad weight cut. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful to Sterling. Dos Anjos gets stoned by that leg. Nigga had one of them fucking Aldo, uh, yeah, these uh, Khabib weight cuts. You <laughs> no word of me. <laughs> they gonna almost die. His kidney almost Good collapsed. Come on, Alchemy. You know what I'm saying? Tie it, Alchemy. Let's go. Snap back. Alchemy, tie it. You tired, baby? Don't tell me you tired. Try to establish that jab. I'm going to definitely have a talk to Al Jermaine if he's tired after that. See? Oh. He's out cold. The Funk Master delivers. That was excellent Close. timing here to land a Close. big left hand to stop the fight. Close. Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Figure them out, Funk Master. I'll give it to you. He said he wants John Jones next to somebody. Flush. I'm not even sure his opponent okay, saw okay. it. If the decision is in, that's where we find Bruce Buffett. <laughs> he said whoever, he said whoever you got. Shit.